Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm gonna be making a video of installing a catalytic converter on my Ford E450 chassis. It's a 2017 Winnebago Spirit. I had uh, my catalytic converter removed by somebody else who thought they needed it more than me. I'll take a look under the engine. I contacted a Ford dealership to install it for me, but they were about two months out for every dealership that I called. This is where my previous one was removed. It was cut right here, as well as right here. Luckily, these do not need to be welded on. It's three bolts on the front one bolt on the back all four bolts are 15 millimeters and this is just for my model and i am going to now talk about the tools and parts that i'll be using to install it these are going to be the three parts that i'm going to be installing onto the RV, which is going to be the catalytic converter, the gasket for the catalytic converter, as well as the O2 sensor. All I did was just give them the VIN number for my RV, and they ordered the parts. This is Croil. It's similar to WD-40. It's what I'm gonna to use to take off uh, the four bolts. Uh, I, I, I feel this works a lot better than WD-40. It penetrates better as well as the uh, all four bolts are just going to be 15 millimeters you will need an extended uh, because of how long the end of the bolt is and that's it it's another thing I forgot to mention another tool that you're going to need is a 7 8 boxing wrench to install the O2 sensor be installing this before I bring the catalytic converter up into the slot Like I said, I'll be using Croil to make it easier to take the bolts off. These bolts on this side. As you can see, my O2 sensor was cut here. It goes up into the past the frame rail, and then is connected. Here. So I'll be removing this, the old one that was cut off, and then plugging in the new one. Okay, so I was able to get all four of the nuts loose. Uh, this third one I had to use one of my gear wrenches just because there wasn't enough room right here. 
but all the rest came off pretty easily. And I will get the end of this off as well as here and then get the new one installed. So I found out the best way to remove this portion of the catalytic converter, the old one. There is a, what appears to be a bolt it's not, it doesn't go all the way through, so it's just supposed to match up into this hole here. And hitting it on this side to force the pipe off this direction. too bad as you can see the next one will slide on just like this these lining up okay so I have the catalytic converter moved into place I'll try and give you the best angle I can I have these sliding together this is gonna go right into this notch it's gonna be a tight fit up here I'm still gonna go back a little ways and kind of move these into place. And I also still have to put on the gasket here. Okay, so it looks like that's as snug as it's gonna get on this end. I asked the Ford service uh, department, one of the guys that worked there, if the gasket was bi-directional and he, he said yes, so it doesn't matter which way you, you put it on. Slide that on first. Okay, so I was able to get the catalytic converter in. I have the all three of the nuts hand tightened. The only way for me to, to slide this into place because of this here, I had to remove this on a hang bracket so that I could shift the exhaust pipe towards the back of the RV. Otherwise, I didn't have enough room. After taking this off, I had plenty of room. So now all I need to do is reattach this, connect the O2 sensor plug, tighten down the band for the back of the catalytic converter, and then tighten down the three bolts. So I have the O2 sensor plug here routed up where the last one went through. I'm 
I'm going to then pull it across and then plug it in right here. So I'm just going to finish tightening down the rest of these. I hope you found some value within this video. I didn't see any others on YouTube on how to install the catalytic converter and I wasn't going to wait multiple months to get my RV back. So I know that this can easily be done at home with just a couple simple tools. So hopefully this was able to help you and in, in possibly installing yours. Alright, so now that the catalytic converter is installed, let's see how it sounds. a lot better.